TLDR, if you are not going to have time to watch this whole video, I will summarize for you right here. My latest thinking is that in order to focus the mind most efficiently on the task that's most important to you, not only stay focused on it throughout the majority of a given day, but to continue focusing on the same task for many days in a row. Hey everybody, it's Jesse. I'm just walking my cool down lap after my morning workout this weekend. And uh, I wanted to talk with you today about some evolving ideas about personal productivity. Personal productivity is extremely important to anyone who wants to make a change in their life. If you want to advance your career, uh, whether you're already successful or if you're trying to turn things around after some sort of a failure or a loss, focusing on your personal productivity is essential. I have personally been experimenting with a number of different systems. Rewind back to when I was trying to start my business. I had no real system. Every moment was devoted to what must be done right now. As long as I just kept on checking off items from my to-do list that I would eventually achieve my long-term goals. First step in my productivity turnaround was to try and track how I was actually using my time. I downloaded an app called Toggle. There are many similar apps available for a number of devices. And I began tracking how I spent, um, I'd like to say every moment of the day, it gets a little tedious to uh, log tasks that last less than five minutes, minor distractions. I'm a little bit ADD. When I was logging my activities, I would try to keep track of every major use of my time, how long I spent on what, and then I sorted those items by categories. And this gave, this gave me a fantastic insight into how I was actually using my time as opposed to how I might have thought I wanted to be spending my time. And I realized when I did this that I was spending a great deal of time on tasks that were mandatory. I didn't really have a lot of choice about these things. So I had previously been beating myself up, giving myself these guilt trips how come I waste all this time? Once I started tracking my time, I realized I wasn't really wasting it. I just needed to get more efficient about what little portion of my personal time was actually flexible. The first iteration of my personal productivity schedule looked like this. Here's a photo. Um, and as you can see, I tried to break each day down into a bunch of separate activities. I set timers on my phone, and when these timers went off, I tried to compel myself to switch tasks. Every time a timer went off, it was time to switch tasks. I figured that if I split my day up rigorously in this manner that I would be able to address many different tasks every single day, and therefore achieve more in the long term. I don't want to say that it was ineffective, but it was very frustrating. And I ended up uh, blowing through the timers uh, with increasing frequency as time went on. Uh, the timer would go off and then I would not switch tasks because my brain was already focused on the task at hand and I didn't want to switch tasks. So that became difficult. Um, during this period of time, I read The One Thing, which I highly recommend and have mentioned before. I also read Eat That Frog by, I believe his name is Brian Tracy. And both of these books are very popular because they offer a very practical approach to personal productivity. Focus on the thing that matters most. This often requires sitting down to think about what matters most. 
And after we identify what matters most, we focus the majority of our time and attention on that one thing. You can see that there's a challenge involved here. How do I split up my time so that I can address all four of these things? So the next iteration of my personal productivity schedule occurred when I was finally able to send my kids back to school um, in September of 2021. The pandemic had been raging for a year and a half and I was finally able to send my kids back to school. This was a life-changing event for me. Um, and when this happened, I sat down with my notebook and my schedule and I decided to map out a new plan for my life. And rather than try and live by these irritating alarms that went off every 45 minutes or something, um, I decided that I would break my week down into different days because there's, there's really, there's a limited period of time between when I send my kids off to school and when my kids come home from school. And I have young kids, I'm not paying for aftercare, so it is not an eight hour day. And that's a limitation that I have to live with. I decided at that time to split my week up by weekdays. Each weekday would be devoted to a separate project. My plan at that time was Mondays and Fridays would be devoted to web development. Tuesdays would be devoted to writing and marketing for my writing projects. Wednesdays would be devoted to music and marketing for my music projects. And Thursdays would be devoted to a home improvement project that I'm working on. So I, that way I, I was able to devote a longer period of time each workday to a specific project and therefore hopefully accomplish more in the long term than the more sort of scattered approach of splitting up every day between a bunch of separate tasks. I continued working in this manner until the beginning of November. Now, at the beginning of November, as I mentioned elsewhere, um, there is a national challenge called the National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo for short. I decided to participate in a modified version of NaNoWriMo. In practical terms, what that meant for me was that I switched from doing a separate task every day to doing the same task every day. Um, not just five, but seven days a week focused on the same task of creative writing. And it was wonderful. I was delighted. I was finally able to feel like I was making serious progress and really getting somewhere on my projects. As long as I was focusing exclusively on my writing related projects, I was not working at all on web development or music marketing, but that was a sacrifice I was prepared to make for a single month. Part of my support group that I mentioned earlier, we started reading a new book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. And this book said, that there's a scientific basis for focusing on just one thing for an extended period of time. It has to do with the way your neurons fire and the way the myelin sheaths build up around your neurons when they fire repeatedly. And the more you focus on doing just one thing, the better you get at it. Not only does productivity improve, the quality of your work also improves. This was an intriguing concept to me because as I'm reading this book, I'm approaching the end of NaNoWriMo and a month of working on just my writing has made me feel far more productive than I felt in the previous two months of splitting my work week between four different tasks. In his book, Cal Newport discusses a professor who's extremely productive, writes all these papers, 
and um, he breaks down how the professor actually splits his splits his year into productive projects. I am not at a point in my life where I can split things up by a quarter of a year, but I thought, you know, that's a really interesting idea. Maybe I could take this NaNoWriMo idea and apply it to my other months. So my plan going forward is to focus on a single project each month. This month, the month of November, I'm doing writing. And then the month of December, I'll do a different project. The month of January, I'll focus on a different project. And each month, I'm going to focus on a single project for the whole entire month. This is my plan. I have not attempted it yet, so I can't tell you how it works, but I will post back in uh, another few months, and I will let you know at that time uh, whether or not it was successful. So uh, wish me luck. I wish you the best of luck. Hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching. As always, please be sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.